Hello and come galoosh. My name is Alex from laughingplace.com. Today we're looking at a really cool box we received from Disney Cruise Line. As you may be aware, they're about to launch the sixth ship in the fleet, the Disney Treasure, and we are going to be getting some new information on that on August 30th. So this box is kind of a tease of what's to come. There's a lot of clues on the box about what's gonna be announced on August 30th um, in the form of stamps. We've got one from Haunted Mansion, Agrabah from Aladdin, Santa Cecilia from Coco, the EMS River looks like Jungle Cruise, Neverland, obviously from Peter Pan. Uh, on the back of the box, um, there's Castaway Key, which is obviously a destination, but perhaps a themed area of the ship. Queens, New York with Spider-Man webbing. And then when we lift open the first flap, there's one more bonus one inside and it's Montanui from Moana. Inside the box, we have a letter and a chest. Um, and we're gonna have to figure out how to open this because uh, it doesn't really have instructions and it's locked. So the letter is from Arthur Quinn. It says, it's been too long since our paths have crossed. I recall the first time we met deep in a thicket along the Nile River Basin, both of us have followed the same family of hippos unbeknownst to one another. It is one of my fondest memories, watching the hippo matriarch soak you hat to sock with river water bubbles. What a scrambled misadventure. I've heard tale of your continued expeditions and I'm glad to see the spirit of adventure still alive and well in you, which is why I am reaching out to you now. There is an important and very special adventure I just recently experienced and must share with you. It was, in a word, magical. I must remind you, soon to be dear friend, that I am a pragmatic sort. I do not use the word magical frivolously. Of course, you know my grandmother, Hannah Quinn, the most legendary of all the Quinn family. She who helmed mighty sea adventures, tracing the path of Captain Nemo's Nautilus, traversed the great Amazon rainforest on foot, and spelunked down the most wondrous jewel-backed cave near Agrabah. My grandmother sparked the spirit of exploration in the hearts of our whole family. Well, the very special guest I allude to was discovered in her study. Normally I'd regale you with the details of this enterprise, but I need you to experience it yourself and corroborate my own immense enchantment. Enclosed is a treasure map that will lead you to the priceless something I didn't know I lacked until it was there in my arms, a treasure that must be treasured. Ha ha! I hope this serves to tantalize you into solving the little riddle I've left you on the back of this letter. My grandmother always asked me if we had packed enough of this extra special, hard to measure but very important necessity for our journey, and us Quins would laugh and proclaim the answer immediately in unison. That one word answer to my riddle and to my grandmother's question is the passcode you will use on the World Wide Web where the journey will begin. A world wise explorer such as yourself should have no trouble. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Yours in adventure, Arthur Quinn. P.S. Having trouble opening the little treasure box I've enclosed? Just remember that sometimes the key that unlocks a great adventure is hidden just out of sight. Get a new angle on the situation. So when we turn the box upside down, there is a little hole here and pulling that it's magnetic and we've got a key. And inside, just as the letter uh, let us know, there is indeed a treasure map. This island looks shaped suspiciously like one of the ships in the Disney Cruise Line fleet. I believe we've already been informed that the center of the ship will be Aladdin themed, that Aladdin and Jasmine on magic carpet will be the statue in the atrium. And so it makes sense that Agrabah is in the center here. Uh, but as you can see, there are lots of other clues as to what may be on board the ship. I see Spaceship Earth and nestled in between what maybe looks like the Matterhorn or Everest. Uh, we've got a pyramid. We've got what looks like the Jungle Cruise. I see Mickey and all of his friends um, with dockside areas that look like they could be food stands. I definitely see the Nautilus. Uh, Toy Story and uh, friends, we've got Rex and Trixie, so that's probably a nod to um, a pool area. I see a Moana hut, uh, what looks like a tea teapot that could be Alice in Wonderland themed. There's a Star Wars ship docked. We've got a river uh, jungle area with Bagheera from The Jungle Book. I see the Cave of Wonders from Aladdin, the Pride Rock from Lion King. Uh, Encanto, it looks like it looks like the village and house casita from Encanto. There's the Tangled Tower at the, the fore of the ship. And then um, lots of pirate ships are, are packed in here. I see the up house uh, with, with balloons in one area. Um, also a goofy looking pool area. Zootopia, there's Nick Wilde and Judy Hopps enjoying what looks like ice cream. We've also got Olaf in a frozen area. 
there's a uh, what looks to be almost like a theater in the round section. Uh, that's probably a clue for maybe the adult lounge space. Uh, Lumiere and Cogsworth carved out of stone with a, a rose garden. So we're gonna have Enchante, Paolo, and the rose uh, probably duplicated there. Some Marvel areas as well. We've got Captain America's shield. We've got that pin particle uh, button that you push at the, the Marvel restaurant on board the Disney Wish. I see the uh, machine, one of Syndrome's machines from Incredibles. Uh, and then at the very back of the ship, it looks like there's also um, another boat. Looks like Pluto is on it. Maybe it belongs to, to Mickey. And there's Porgs. We've got Porgs. So there's lots of cool details in this map. On to the riddle. It says, solve this riddle below and enter the resulting password at this website. Uh, so number one, what animal soaked you sock to hat when we met? On the front, it said a hippo. Uh, the kid who plays with spider webs lives in this burrows. Well, that would be Peter Parker, who is from Queens. What kind of map have I sent you? Treasure. The feline-shaped cave of wonders is the blank to be filled in. Can be found on the map. Another adventure once found a magic lamp there. Number five, my grandmother went on mighty sea adventures tracing the route of this historical vessel. That's the Nautilus. So we have to rearrange the words. We're gonna take the first letter from answer one, so that was H. Third letter from answer two, uh, which was Queens, so E. Uh, fourth letter from answer three, treasure. Sixth letter from answer four, uh, that was wonders. The fourth letter from answer five, which was Nautilus, so that would be T, so that's heart. So the word that will open a world of adventure for us is heart. Hey there, you solved my puzzle. I knew an explorer of your caliber could do it. This is the beginning of a fantastic journey, and this is only the start. I want to show you all the places I discovered in the Disney treasure. Here, take a look at some of these photos I've got. Ah, 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 not so fast. You can't give everything away. They'll have to wait until August 30th. Fine, we'll make them wait. Well, I hope to see you then to join me on this extraordinary journey that you won't soon forget. Together, we'll unlock the Disney treasure, Disney Cruise Line's newest ship, until then, take a look at your map, see if you can find any clues to help you on your quest. See you then. Thank you for joining for this really cool unboxing. I'm really excited to learn more about the Disney treasure on August 30th. And remember, you can visit laughingplace.com for more information about the Disney treasure, the Disney wish, the entire fleet of Disney Cruise Line vessels, because uh, we are cruise enthusiasts. Thanks, take care, bye.